Hi there. Today I like to talk about a theme not everyone is really keen to talk about, but in my opinion it's very important that everyone knows how to use an enema and of course that they're using it. An enema you would use to improve your gut, to improve any kind of different food intolerances like lactose, fructose or leaky gut, or just in general to get back to health with improving your um, gut system. And an enema looks like this, like a jar. It has attached a hose and at the end of the hose there is a little tap. At the very far end there is a thinner hose attached which has two holes at the, at the side and the end is really very round and very soft. You would fill these up with water, chamomile tea, alkaline water, or with probiotics, so you can use different liquids. And this would hang. I do this always in the shower, it makes it much easier in my opinion. So then this hangs filled with water and you would open this little tap so that water can go through. When you see the water dripping, you would close this little tap. The reason why you should do this is imagine all, oops, all the air of this hose would get pushed into your colon. Believe me, there is no fun. So really avoid to get that much air in your colon. It makes it much easier. So this is hanging and filled up with water the hose. Then you would get some um, organic cream just to make it a little bit more slight, more smoothie. And if you don't have cream, you can use coconut oil or any other cooking, cooking oils. Then we're coming to the tricky part. That means you shouldn't avoid to say, oh, this will become pain. Because as soon as you start to think that, you will close your sphincter like crazy and it will become pain. So try to start relax. And then place the little hose in front of your sphincter and push against this little hose and while you're pushing it against like you would go to the restroom like you would release stool you open the swinter already automatically and then it's easy to go through it's a little bit strange yes so if you feel what's going on and a little bit concerned or whatever just have a break feel how it feels get comfy with it and when you're ready then go further. Be aware, pushing against it again to open the swinter and then push further. You have to keep in your mind that we have two swinters, not only one, so you have to go through two. If you would go only to, through one, you would stay between them and it's not a benefit of it. So when you went through both, just get comfy and when you're happy with the situation and ready for the next step, you would open this little tap only as much as you like it and as long as you like it. You will feel there is something going into your colon, yes, but it's definitely no pain, it's only a strange feeling. And if you're using warm water, it's really fine. If you're not comfy with it or whatever, why ever, just close it and wait a little bit. Feel how it feels and then open it again. Take your time. That's the most important thing to get this done when you never did it before. Really take your time. That's the only secret, I would say. And um, the main purpose should be to taking your time that you get half of the amount at least into your colon. Otherwise you don't get a real benefit of it. If you come to this point and you say, okay, now I am really not able to handle anymore, just close this little tap and then pull this smaller tap out of your colon. Please don't go straight away to the toilet because now it's a very important part where the colon gets active. 
The movement of the colon is called peristaltic and you can compare this movement with the movement of, this, of a snake which just had swollen a rabbit and it's pushing this rabbit further down. That's nearly exactly the same movement like the colon is working. So as long as possible keep the liquid in it because that's the time where the colon is working. If you come to the point, okay, I have to go to the restroom, that's fine, go to the toilet, but please don't push it out. Let it go by itself, very important. In general, you never should push your stall out of your colon because you're working really hard on the project, how do I get hemorrhoids? And that's also not fun. So, if you um, are on the restroom, sometimes it takes 5 minutes, sometimes it takes 10 minutes. It's very different and uh, the main thing is you should take again your time. That's the whole story. Very simple, very easy. So, I hope this helps, this convince you to try because it's such a great benefit if you, any, if you have any kind of food intolerances or you like to improve your gut. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to help. Just write a comment and I will answer. All the best and lovely greetings.